DEX's 2DFX script gives the ability to export DFF models with lights and particles. In one of the previous videos, we discovered how Goldfish's 2DFX scripts work. DEX's and Goldfish's scripts share some similarities, and so it should be easy to transfer between the two. Run the 2DFX revise max script to get the interface to show. Setup or add effects section is for adding attributes to the emitter object. For lights, the emitter is an omni light, and for particles, the emitter is a dummy helper. Adding emitter info is required for you to set up effects. Setup or edit lights section is for setting and editing light information. This script has no option to get an imported lights current info, so you will need to set it yourself or use Goldfish's scripts to get the info. Distance sets how far away the 2D effects is shown from the camera. If the 2D effects is inside a model, for example a house, it may be ideal to keep the draw distance low. This is because only 32 coronas can be visible at a time, and their alpha blending may reduce performance. Size is a uniform size of the 2D effects in square meters. Set low values for light bulbs and high values for tower roof lights. Inner range is believed to be the radius of which the light does not illuminate vehicles or pedestrians, whereas outer range is where it does start to illuminate. Corona image is the texture that the light object uses. Shad image is the texture that the light object's shadow uses. Light type has various presets that you can choose from. With the light set up the way you like it, press apply to light. Set up or edit particles section is for setting and editing particle information. There are various effects such as fire and splashes to pick from. When you have found the right effect, select your dummy and press apply to the dummy. Export effect info section is for exporting emitter information to a file, which can then be embedded in your DFF using RW Analyze. In future videos, I will quickly go over how to export models with 2D effects. Refer back to this video to learn what each parameter does.